Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to use some beautiful cards today, we're going to bring in two decks by Tammy from Bloom and Arrow, so we're going to bring in the Love Secrets Unlocked and the Divine Lover Oracle, I love these two decks and we're going to bring in the powerful Twin Flame Journey Messages by the amazing Mystic Moon. I'm also going to bring in the Divine Mask and the Silence deck to see what's happening with them. We're going to bring in the Twin Flame Love Oracle, the Secret Messages of Union, and we're going to use my new Divine Feminine deck too. I'm also going to bring in the Divine Structure deck to see what question we need to be asking. So what's the question we need to be asking today, please, angels, for this Twin Flame Powerful journey? What's the question we need to be asking? There we go. So I've got two coming out. So we're going to kind of base the question or whatever cards come out around these questions. So we've got what's next for the connection and what are they hoping for? Wow. So these may be the things on your mind right now. You may be thinking, okay, then what's next for the connection? What's coming in and what are they hoping for? Now, the big message that's coming through intuitively today is that they know they have to change. Okay, to be with you in a physical union, they know they have to change. They have to change blocking you, ghosting you, ignoring you. They have to change their lifestyle. They have to change who they are sometimes. Their belief systems need to alter. They may need to change what they're doing to themselves if they're doing drugs or an addiction or this, you know, self-sabotaging their own life. They know they need to change if they are stuck in a karmic situation or they're not being honest about their truth and who they are and, you know, who you are to them. So they know they need to change. And that's what they're hoping for. The masculine is hoping that they can change. And that's what you're hoping too. You know, you're thinking, I hope you can change. I hope you can do what you need to do so we have a future together. And that's why you're saying, what's next for the connection? Are they going to change? Well, as we move towards September, the masculines are making decisions. They're getting things done. That's why there's a lot of kind of isolation energy right now. And what the angels have shared with me today very powerfully is, you know, if your masculine needs space, you actually need that space too. You may not think it because maybe you're afraid, you're anxiety and anxious about it. You know, you're feeling fear about them going away if they're going to return. But that's all it is. It's the fear of, will they return? If he goes away and he's not messaging me, is he going to forget me? Those are the things we go through in our mind. But the masculine never forgets the feminine. You're always on their mind. You're always living inside of them. So the angels are saying, let that fear go and actually sit with the feeling of allowing yourself to have time for you. Because that's a beautiful thing. And you may think, well, I've had enough time for me, Liz. I've been single for this long or we've been in separation for so many years or months. But the angels are saying, it's time for you to surrender, to release, to let go, to understand why you've come and what you're here for. And most importantly, what you need. You know, last week around the Lion's Gate, we we're all experiencing ascension symptoms and going through things quite kind of potently feeling the head pressure, the headaches, you know, all the things we were experiencing in the body, you know, and you were experiencing these quite powerfully, bringing in sleepless nights or heavy dreams or, you know, things that were testing to you that may have kind of brought in challenges in your physical world where you may have been struggling to stay awake at work or, you know, it was maybe affecting your daily life, the physical things you were going through. So you needed space too to actually nurture you. So when the masculines need space, the feminines need space too to nurture, to heal. Because, you know, isolation or space is healing. And what triggers heal? So if we get triggered by that space, it's healing us. It's helping us to go within, to work out what we need. And around the Lion's Gate last week, me and George, you know, I was in my room and he was in his room. Because we both needed that space. It wasn't kind of communicated physically. It was just known. And it was a beautiful thing. Okay? And we were still meowing each other and making sure the other one was okay. Checking on each other. 
I go up there, he come down here. But it was nice to actually have some time for me to watch my show. You know, I'm watching Dallas when I'm kind of not spending time with George. To actually go on Snapchat and connect with everyone here. You know, and to be able to watch a few YouTube videos myself, like from our soul sisters, Cheryl and Sandra, you know, to have that time. So the angels are reminding you there's always a reason behind everything. So what's next for the connection? They are changing and they have to find themselves to do this. So what I'm doing today, I'm going to do a reading about differences and changes and age gaps. That's going to be a separate reading. And I'm also going to do a karmic reading today too. Because I feel that anyone dealing with a karmic energy needs to know what's going on. You know, what's next. And it's about trusting that you are enough and that nobody compares to you. And Cheryl, our soul sister, shared a very beautiful reading. I've shared it on the community post. And she was talking about the karmic energy. And she's like, karmic who? And that's exactly right. Because when we are as readers kind of tapping in with the energy, the karmic situation doesn't even really matter. Yes, it matters because it affects what they're going through in their physical world, but it's also a catapult to where they need to be. So it's bringing in a healing. But in relation to the feminine and the masculine, it doesn't matter because for the masculine, there is only the feminine. And for the feminine, there is, the, is only the masculine, regardless of what's going on. Yet it's the decisions that need to be made to bring in that change. So we're going to do that today too. And there is also a message today from the Abundance Angels, Archangel Ariel, about your career and money. So you can check that out too. Okay, let's do this then. So the, the messages are, what are they hoping for and what's next for the connection? So what do we need to know? What's the energy today, please? So I'm not going to say this is the feminine, this is the masculine. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and then intuitively read them based around this question. Okay. So what do we need to know, please, angels, today? What are they hoping for and what's next for the connection? What do we need to know? What are they hoping for and what's next for the connection? Wow. Okay. They're coming out for a reason. So I'm taking them. What's next for the connection? What are they hoping for? What's next for the connection? We're going to use the masculine deck. What do we need to know from the masculines? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm also going to bring in... This beautiful deck here, this one is the advice from the divine on how to remove your masks. And this is by Angelic Revelation 144. So what do we need to know? Thank you, angels. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the feminine messages. So I'm going to go to my new deck. It's called Divine Feminine, the Silence. Now, it, I haven't got it in my hand yet because it's still being delivered. So whenever I want to use this, and I do this for members when I get a new deck, I go to the about page of my channel, which is along the top there, and I click on my card deck shop. Now, you know, if you guys want to use one of my decks and you can't afford it or you don't want to buy it just yet, or you're thinking about it, this is a good way to connect. So you go on here and it brings up all of my decks of cards, okay? And I go down to the bottom, which is Divine Feminine, the Silence, just there, and I click on it. And then I'm going to ask the angels to guide me to a card, okay? So I click on the actual deck itself and it brings up the deck here. And this is a good way, you know, if you want to use the masculine cards in this way. You know, if you want a message from your masculine, just go on to the website and then you can pick a card. You close your eyes, the angels will guide you to the right card. So how is the feminine feeling today? Well, what does the feminine want to say to the masculine today? Okay, I've got the card. So the message is, Am I that easy to forget? Am I that easy to forget? So that's what you're thinking today, Divine Feminine. Am I that easy to forget? Is it easy for you? How is it so easy for you, you know, to move forward or to get on with your life or to forget me? And this makes sense because, you know, you're thinking what's next for the connection? Have they forgot me? Am I that easy to forget? And the, the angels are kind of saying to you and the masculines are saying to you, no, they desire everything about you. You know, they want you. To the masculine, you are the most desirable, sexy creature in the universe. And they know that. How can they forget you? How can they forget your light and your power? And you're thinking, how is it so easy for you? So the angels are reminding you that for the masculine, it's a hard journey. 
and it's not easy at all. They just hide it very well. So he's saying to you today, I'm afraid of change and the impact it will have on my life. So he's afraid of the change. He wants the change and he's preparing for that change, but he's also afraid of that change. And that's because the ego brings in fear. What if scenarios? Okay, what if it doesn't work out? What if I fail? What if I can't do this? What if you don't love me for who I am? Okay, what if my life messes up because I don't change right or there's something wrong with me? The impact. So what are they hoping for? They're hoping for change, but they're also afraid of the impact it will have on their life, on their finances, on their family, on their children, people judging them, if it'll affect their their own life. So what's next for the connection is change. Very powerful. We've also got, it's not you, it's me, I love you. And he's saying that to you today. He said, it's not you, it's me. Okay, it's not you. So if he needs space, if he needs time to heal, he's saying to you, I love you. That feeling does not go. And you're saying, you know, is it so easy for you to forget me? And he's saying, it's not you. Okay, it's not you, it's me. I love you. How can I forget you? It's not you, it's me. He's also saying to you, I'm connecting with my true self. And this is what we do in the silence. This is what we do in separation or during those quiet moments. We connect with our true self. And that's what we need to be doing as well right now as a divine feminine to connect with our true self. You know, last night I actually was going through some more physical things because I'm going through perimenopause. And I'm not afraid to say that it's a part of life. You know, we change, we grow, we evolve, we transform. You know, my twin George is very kind of understanding about that, which is another sign that age gaps work. You know, he's 26, I'm 45. Of course, I'm going to be going through changes. And he's very loving and understanding of what I need. So he knows if I need space, you know, because sometimes I operate too with masculine energy and union, just like you will do. And we're talking about how the feminines right now are experiencing the masculine energy and how the, the masculines are experiencing the feminine energy. And that's because you're preparing for union, because when you're in union, you will be balanced in your energy. So you'll experience both. So, you know, my masculine is kind of saying, you know, if you just, just watch the telly, watch an episode of Dallas, you know, chill out a little bit. And that's because I'm connecting with my true self. We need time by ourselves sometimes to process, to grow, to learn, to understand, to feel, you know, rather than just being with that person all the time because they're always inside of us anyway. You know, they belong inside of us. And in the deepest, darkest times of separation, that's how we feel whole because we understand that, that separation is illusion. It's created by the ego that edges the goodness out, that brings in all the fear. You are one. That's why you can feel them. That's why you can telepathically communicate with them. That's why your bond is so strong in the 5D in dreams through meditation. Because you feel them right by your side. So he's saying to you today, I'm connecting with my true self. And when he connects with his true self, it's when he realizes who he is. And what changes he needs to make and what he needs to change. And they're giving me fear thank you which comes up as burpee energy so you may be experiencing that you know indigestion burning feelings but also giving me like something in the eye like a feeling right now like there's grit in the eye and if you get that okay and there's no physical cause for it it's because they are processing what they are seeing in their 3d world and most of the masculines are not liking what they see because they're in situations that don't serve them around people that drag them down and cause them struggle or pain, toxic energy. They're seeing arguments around or they're seeing conflict. So they don't like what they see. So it's affecting their eyes because they're learning to see through their third eye. So they may have runny eyes, itchy eyes, crying, tears, releasing, okay, letting go of things that no, they no longer need. So he's saying, I'm connecting with my true self to understand this. So what's next for the connection? They are connecting with their true self, their inner self, their real self. We've also got yin and yang, love yourself and others in the light and the shadows. 
yin and yang and sometimes the feminine and the masculine are the yin and the yang the dark and the light you know the feminine is the light and the masculine is the dark because he's in dark energy love yourself so the answer to everything is to love yourself self-love so what's next for the connection is to love yourself and to love others in the light and the shadows, which means through the darkness and the light, the good and the bad, the ups and the downs, we learn to understand, we learn to surrender, we learn to trust. And accepting the situation as it is now is surrendering to it and trusting in it that the love is real. Look at this, our love is real. And we've got 34, have faith. The angels are protecting you. It's safe for you to love me. So your masculine is saying to you, it's safe for you to love me. It's safe. Because if you're saying to your masculine, is it that easy? You know, can you forget me that easily? The masculine is saying, our love is real. It's safe for you to love me. It's okay. So feminines, you know, if you're feeling foolish today or you're feeling in pain or struggle, it's safe for you to love them. And it's safe for them to love you. And they are understanding that because they fear abandonment, they fear change, they fear the impact it's going to have when they uproot everything and move on and be with you. And you're saying, it's safe for you to love me. It's going to be okay. Trust in us and in the guidance of the higher realm. So the masculine saying to you today, or you're saying to your masculine, trust in us. Trust and trust in the guidance of the higher realm. So you're always being shown the truth. Have faith that it's safe to love me as much as I love you. Our union is protected by angels and decreed by the divine creator. God is in charge. It's going to be okay. This is real. We've got distractions. If you seek instant gratification, your soul will cry out in shame. What does that mean? It means the need for things now. Instant gratification. We're in a day and age right now where we get that on social media we share a picture people like it okay we send a text we get a reply so if you're not receiving that like or you're not receiving that text you start wondering why because the ego goes into fear what am i doing wrong why is this happening am i so easy to forget but we learn to trust the journey that it's in divine time you know back in the olden days not long ago to be honest you know when i was growing up in the 90s you know, when I was going out and stuff, we didn't have mobile phones. We didn't have instant gratification. There wasn't Facebook or these things. So we didn't really get that. So it was a lot easier. You know, back in the 90s, you know, if I went out to meet my friends, if they weren't there, there's nothing we could do about it because we couldn't call them up on a mobile phone or text them because we hadn't got that. Okay. I was 21 when I had my first mobile phone. Okay, so, and it was like, you know, a gift from God was given to me. But before then, you know, we didn't have that. But now it's so easy to contact people and get in touch with people. Think about back in the olden, olden days, you know, where people had to send telegrams to each other or write to each other. You know, like in Sex and the City, when Carrie's reading love letters of the great men, you know, and this is what happened. You know, we couldn't communicate. People were on horseback back then and, you know, there was such big separations, but everything led home. And they're giving me this again, this kind of feeling in the eye, like there's grit in the eye. So you might not like what you see, you know, maybe you're seeing things on social media that's affecting you. You know, it's hurting your soul. You're thinking, I don't like that. Why isn't he liking my post? Why isn't he returning my phone call? Why isn't he replying to me? Why isn't he sending me a text back? And it's because your ego is expecting it now. Or you're thinking, why aren't we in union yet? Why hasn't he contacted me? What's going wrong? It's because you want it now. And the ego is demanding something now, which is instant gratification. And that hurts the soul. Okay, your soul will cry out in shame. It hurts the soul. And you can see the masculine is in pain too. The masculine wants to reach out to you. The masculine wants to show you the care because the love is real. But they also don't want to hurt you anymore. They don't want to fail you anymore. And they don't want to cause you any more pain. 
So he's trying to get to a point in his life where he can make the change and give you the whole loaf and be with you, not just mess you around, give you breadcrumbs or be back and forth in his energy. And he's saying, I am healing my wounds. I am. And this came up the other day, you know, healing those wounds. He's saying, I am healing them. I am dealing with things. I am working it out. And this is because he's within himself realizing what he has to do to make the changes. Why? To be in union. To be in union. And this is a new beginning flowing in now. They show me the one and the eight. So this is a new beginning coming in now in August with the Lionsgate portal. The changes are happening. It's all happening now. I'm ready to start our life together in union. So he's saying to you, I'm ready. I am ready. My higher self is craving this. But it's just the fear and the ego that's holding me back. That's causing that procrastination or those feelings. And the feminine is struggling because you are wanting it now. And you're learning to release that need for it now. That instant gratification, the healing that's coming in. We've been waiting and preparing for this day to come. And now the time is near. So the angel saying the time for your union is near. Let's get ready for this final chapter so we can come into alignment and meet as what. So you're being reminded that union is coming. So what's next for the connection and what they are hoping for is union. Okay, union. This is the answer. Okay, what's next for the question? What's next for the connection or what are they questioning? What's next? What's the question? Union. So if you're questioning union, this is what they are hoping for. They are saying this to you, okay? Let's get ready for this final chapter. You can't skip to the end. You have to work through the other chapters first. You know, it doesn't make sense if you rush ahead because you're learning and growing and understanding. You know, when you read a book, you can read the last few pages, but it doesn't make any sense because you have to read the whole book to understand it. We've got, I'm going over in my head the things I've done and it pains me. So he's going over and over things in his head. He pains him. He doesn't want to hurt you anymore. He doesn't want to let you down. He wants to heal that. I'm so new to this powerful and overwhelming energy. This love seems unreal. And I'm fighting with my reality of our connection. Trust me though, I feel you in every way. And I have a crazy chemical, mental, emotional and sexual attraction to you right now. And this is that Kundalini rising. This is that heat, the passion that they love you. The masculine is saying to you, I'm driven mad with sexual emotional thoughts of you. Your divine masculine is driven mad. They go a bit crazy. You're on their mind with sexual emotional thoughts and sensations about you. But they are not ready at this stage to accept and unite. Why? Because you're being prepared for union. It's all in divine timing. They're releasing fears of making a change. They're worried about the impact it's having on their lives. So he's saying to you, he wants all of this, but it's not quite the right time because you're learning to trust in divine timing and not the need for it now. Give them more time to awaken and understand your connection, but expect loads of energy and intense sexual dreams and feelings in the physical soon. So what's next is dreaming of each other, feeling the heat, the kundalini rising, the power, that desire, that longing. And what are they hoping for? Union, body, mind and soul. We've got passion, there it is. And the passion, is the kundalini has been rising since, they're giving me fear, since 2020. When all this fear energy came into the world with the pandemic, they're starting to see. They're giving me all this fear. It's being released. They know what they want and they're working on bringing it into their real world. You excite me on every level. So you excite them physically, emotionally, intellectually. The heat is rising between us. This is why you're feeling the heat. Okay. Even if you're having hot flushes like me, okay, because it's your change or you're just feeling that, you'll be feeling the heat. Okay. The heat is rising between you. This is the intensity of the desire for you. I want you, body, mind and soul. We will be one. It will be unlike anything we've ever experienced before. And that's true. 
when you're in union, it's like, it's unlike anything you've ever experienced. Even if you've been married for years and years, you know, or you've desired someone else, you'll never desire or want or be as happy as when you're with your twin. And that's why you can't let go because you know that. Even if you've spent fleeting moments together, you know that, you know it's real. We've got divine protection. So you've been reminded it's protected. So if you've seen rainbows, if you've seen bees, if you've seen the stag, you've been reminded it's protected. And it's all in divine time. That's the promise to you. And there they're giving me it in this I know. So this is definitely today things affecting what you're seeing. See past the illusion. See past the pain. If you're not liking what you're seeing, things need to change. Okay? It's not that I haven't put my makeup on right or there's something going in my eyes. They are showing me this for a reason. The eyes are affected and they are kind of connected with things we see. Okay? And we get affected by that. Our physical world can affect us. What people do can affect us. But we have to take back our power and know our truth because our journey is divinely protected. If ever you are in doubt or fear about the connection, hand it over to the angels. Know that I love you and only want the best for us and so does the divine creator. So the masculine is saying to you here, our journey is protected. I only want what's best for you. And sometimes what's best for you is not to be around me while I'm dealing with fear, while I'm healing my wounds, while I'm learning and growing. Sometimes it's best for you to have your own space too. And that's the message coming through, okay? It's all unfolding. It's unfolding beautifully. The angels are protecting this new beginning. Every day brings me closer to you. So what are they hoping for to move closer to you, to be with you? What's next for the connection? Every day, it brings you closer together. Our journey is unfolding with each day that passes. Please be at peace and know that everything is as it should be right now. So savor the waiting because all is well. And that was the message the other day that came through from heaven. All is well. There's nothing to fear. You've got this and heaven has got you. You are safe. And the masculine is saying, do you know, this is so powerful. The age gap makes me anxious, but doesn't turn me away. And this is what they guided me to do a video on today. Okay, the age gap, it does not turn me away. So whatever differences are between you, whatever's going on, it doesn't turn them away. So if you're thinking right now, he was run because of the age gap, or he's run because there's a religious difference, or there's something going on, he's saying to you, it makes me anxious, but it doesn't turn me away. He's dealing with what those anxiety feelings are, those anxious feelings are, what's affecting it. Because he's thinking, am I enough for you? Okay, I don't want to fail you. Look at you, you're amazing to me. So let go of fear. Let go of fear around the age gap, around the differences, about the distance between you. Because the universe will create the way. The universe brought you together and the universe will bring you together again. You are safe with me. You are safe. So this is understanding that you are safe. Have no fear of making mistakes. Nothing you do or say will ever make me stop loving you. There are no mistakes on this journey, only soul lessons. It's safe to be vulnerable with me. So this is the feminine saying, masculine, you can open your heart to me. It's okay. It's safe to love me. It's safe to show me that love. It's safe to be with me. It's safe now to make the changes. Let's start again together. And the masculine is saying, it's safe for you to love me and open up to me and be with me. You are my inspiration, divine feminine. You are so special to me for so many reasons. There is no one else who inspires me quite like you. So he's saying to you, you inspire me. So what's next for the connection is the inspiration you give to them, that you guide them on their way. I'm so proud of you, your achievements, your talents and your gifts and your love encourages me to strive for more out of life. So you encourage your masculine to become a better person and that's what they are hoping for, change and power and integrity. I make choices to honour our love. So you're choosing how you feel, you're choosing to continue to carry on, you're making a conscious choice to move towards union and so are they. I always strive to protect what we have by making choices with honesty and integrity. 
It may not seem like it on the surface, but everything I do is for you. Everything I do is for you. And I feel you may hear that song today by Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do it for you. Because they are protecting your heart. You know, and it may seem not like that when they're running from you, but they're only running from their self. We've got here daydream. So they're dreaming about you, visualizing you, wanting you. I dream about you every day. They never forget you. You're saying, have you forget, forgot me? Am I that easy to forget? They never forget you. I can't get you off my mind day or night, okay? Day or night, night or day. I always wonder what you're doing and how you're feeling. Meet me in your dreams tonight so we can start making our future together a reality. So they are hoping for what they are dreaming about. They are hoping for this future. So what's next for the connection is intense dreams. Astral connection. Astral projection connecting you. Dream traveling. Dream walking. Lucid dreams coming together. Daydreaming. Manifestation. You know, manifesting in meditation and dreams. So they're saying it's like when you're meditating, you are manifesting. It's molding into one, bringing you together. I listen to your voice recording over and over. So if you've got a YouTube channel, they are watching your videos, okay, listening to your voice. Okay, if you are a songwriter or a musician, they're listening to your songs. I feel this is about anything that you've given to them, maybe a voice message. They've listened to that over and over. And they're also sitting there at night going over the things you've said in their mind. You know, that recording of your voice in their mind over and over again. And I feel this is what you may be doing too, Divine Feminine, listening to songs if they were a musician, you know, remembering their voice, tapping in with who they are. I've looked for you in other people, places and things, but nothing else will ever do. And it's the truth. Nothing else will ever satisfy them and nothing will satisfy you. You'll enjoy your life and love your life and live your life, but no other will ever fit that bill. You know, no one else will fit that shoe. That's why Prince Charming is searching for Cinderella through all of those people. You know, he could have tried to shove anyone's foot in that shoe, but nobody fits it apart from Cinderella because you are designed perfectly for each other. You fit together like a hand going into a glove. So remember that. Okay, you are strong and powerful. So your mask is saying no one else will ever do. I've looked for you and others. And that's the karmic situation. He's running around trying to, you know, be happy and distract himself and hide his feelings. But nobody else will ever do. Karmic battles. So there's arguments going on right now in August in the karmic situation to bring in change. I'm releasing what no longer serves me. Please be patient with my process of growth and change as I come into my power. I'm making sure that everything is in alignment so I can be with you. So he's saying to you, I want to be with you, but I'm making sure everything is in alignment. Twin flame signs. You're seeing the signs. They're coming from heaven. Look for the signs of our connection. As your twin flame, I mirror what you're going through. Notice how we are very similar and share the same vision. There's a connection between us that can't be denied. And this is why when they need space, you need it too. When they are longing for you, you're longing for them. You're mirrors of each other. I know once we kiss, there will be no going back. And sometimes the masculines hold themselves back because they know that once they kiss you, they can't go back. Okay, they understand that on a very deep level. They feel that. So they have to hold themselves back. And that's sometimes why they deny it. I wonder if you think about me as much as I think about you. You know, you're thinking, is it easy to forget me? No, they can't stop thinking about you. If you're thinking about them, you can guarantee that they are thinking about you. Something is missing when you're quiet with me. And the reason why is because you love each other. What's missing is that part of you that wakes you up and heals you and brings in love and light. And the masculine is saying, something is missing when you're not contacting me. Okay, so when you're quiet too... The masculines miss it and they learn that out. Okay, they understand that when they are quiet, they realize their life works better with you in it. They realize that missing part of them is you. What's missing in their life is you because they miss you. See how the cards follow on? 11, 
So if you've seen 11, 11, that's why you've been reminded that they miss you. I'm missing everything about you today. Your smile, your eyes, your voice, your scent and your touch. So they're missing you. So feminine, if you're thinking today, how are they feeling? You know, have they forgot me? Do they miss me? They do. They miss you more and more. Remember how we've connected physically over our lifetimes together. My love for you is boundless and primal. And that's that desire for you, that need for you. The need for it now, that instant gratification. They feel that too. Because they miss you too. So everything you feel, they feel. And we've got stargazing. And I love this, it's number 17 and that's the day today. My love for you is written in the stars. So you're being reminded on this day, on the 17th of August as I record this in real time, that your love is written in the stars. It's meant to be. So look up at the stars tonight and know that I'm under the same sky thinking about you. We were destined since true immemorial. We don't need to rush this love. It's eternal. So it's saying we were destined since time, since time began. It's meant to be. It's eternal. We don't need to rush this love. It's eternal. So let go of that need for it now, that instant gratification. And I close my eyes and think of the wonder that is you. And this is what's happening. So they're giving me eyes today. So if you have any issues with your eyes today, feeling like there's grit in there, itchiness, running eyes, you know, your eyes just running for no reason. You know, do you get that? You go outside and the sun hits and your eyes run, you know, any pain in the eye, you know, pink eye or red eye, anything happening with the eyes, it's connecting with what you see. I close my eyes and think of the wonder that is you. So close your eyes on your physical world today and feel what's going on inside of you, how you feel, connecting with how they feel, connecting with the oneself. You are a special, unique creation. There is heaven sent. So this is saying to you, you're heaven sent. You drop down into my reality. Where are you from? Your light is amazing to me. Feel the light that blooms within you and connects us together in spiritual truth. It's a miracle you are mine. It's a miracle. And it is. It's a miracle you found each other. And it will be a miracle when you find each other again. Only you can ever make me feel this good. So he's saying this to you. What's next for the connection? He's really all really, like understanding and reeling all this into his mind. It's like the reeling. They're giving me like a movie scene, a reel, okay? It's coming into his mind. He's seeing these things. He's realizing it's real. You're the only one I would ever dedicate a song to. So that's why he's sending you signs in music. It's very big right now. So the song he's dedicating to you today is everything I do, I do it for you. I'm reminded of you constantly in the twin flame signs, the signs that you see. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. So there's that apology there. When he's saying to you, it pains me. I go over and over and over to my mind and it pains me what I've done to you and I'm sorry. And I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. That's why I need space. That's why I need time. I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. So he's hoping he can fix it. He wants to. He wants to change for you. And he's saying to you, I can still feel you. So even if you're apart, even if he's quiet, you can still feel each other. And I don't know how I feel anymore because he's changing. That doesn't mean he doesn't know how he feels about you. He's saying, I don't know how I feel about my life. The changes I need to make, I'm working it all out. So they're hoping for change and that's what's next for the connection. So trust and keep the faith. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.